Welcome to the 2017-18 Texas Tech Hoops season preview. Mighty Joe, I know the only person more excited about me to get Tech Hoops, you know, the season started would be you. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, great, man. Uh, this uh, I'm really excited. We're two days out now and uh, really looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting year. Yeah, we're here outside the USA. It's right behind us. My big head may block most of it here, but uh, no, I mean, a lot of excitement. I know we talked about it before. You saw uh, one of their, their exhibition games. I saw one of their practices. Just overall, what's the main storyline? Before we get into more specifics here, uh, what's, the, what's the main storyline with this, this team this year? Yeah, boy, you can go a lot of different ways with it, man. I mean, uh, you got five seniors in the starting lineup. Is at least that's kind of the way it's looking earlier in the, early in the year. Uh, with the, everybody's familiar with Zach Smith and Keenan and Naeem and those guys, but also you add in uh, 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 um, Mr. Hamilton, Tommy, Tommy Hamilton, Hamilton, transfer out of DePaul, 6'11 guy. So you got five veteran guys in there, all right? And it's going to be interesting to see uh, how much of the weight those guys are going to carry. Uh, but the reality is you've got a lot of extremely talented uh, young players in there as well. I mean, in there, they proved this in the scrimmage down against um, Mississippi, or it was actually New Mexico State down yeah. in Midland. Uh, where the starting five, the seniors, kind of sluggish, uh, and then the young kids came in there and picked it up. Uh, and then once that tech got rolling, then it was all over. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, kind of that <clears throat> new cohort versus the veterans and how all that works together is going to be interesting. That is a major storyline, uh, Mighty Joe, for sure. And for me, uh, the major storyline is really Chris Beard nailed it on the local media day. He said, you know, you got this core group, the Keenan Evans, the Zach Smith, the Justin Grays, who were here two years ago under Tubby Smith and made that surprise run to the NCAA tournament. Um, now, what Beard said was, okay, here's their senior year. A lot is expected of them. If they don't make it back to the tournament, not a really good story. If they do, a great story. You made it to the tournament twice with two different coaching staffs. That is an excellent story. If you don't, eh, it was just kind of a one-year wonder kind of kind of deal. Right. Uh, and I thought that was very honest, a very honest assessment, and just hit the nail on the head. So it'll be interesting to see. I know you and I both have high expectations for them. It'll be interesting to see uh, how the season plays out. And you mentioned the the starters. Let's go. Let's go into depth here about just who's returning. Zach Smith, let's start with him. Uh, preseason, first team all Big 12 uh, selection. Well, what are you expecting from him? Uh, defensive presence, uh, rim protector, um, uh, a leader by example. He's, he's not a, a very vocal guy by any stretch oh, of the imagination. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, he, he's, he, he's a guy who, uh, he's, he's really Tech's interior presence uh, in terms of defense and rebounding too, uh, and uh, that's, that's kind of his role. Uh, he's never going to be a, a great big scorer or anything, but he does a lot of other stuff uh, that uh, makes him extremely valuable. And then let's go with Keenan Evans. He was all, he also got some uh, preseason honors. I believe he was an honorable mention All Big 12 uh, selection. He's a guy who really stepped up as a leader. He increased uh, really his game uh, as an offensive player, and I expect just a monster year from him. What do you think about Keenan? Yeah, I do too. Uh, I mean, I, he could be on my All Big 12 first team. Yeah. Really, uh, I expect well, the thing about him that's so important. I mean. He's, he's really a good all-around player, combo kind of a guard, can, can do a little bit of everything. Uh, but he's a guy, he's the guy on the team that can manufacture his own shot and make very, very difficult shots, which makes him an extremely valuable go-to sort of a guy when you're playing against a lot of tough defenses and you need uh, shots and money situations. Keenan is going to be the guy you're going to go to, and he can make it happen. He, he, I expect him to kick his scoring average up quite a bit this year, uh, and uh, you know he's just going to be invaluable on the offensive end uh, in those uh, difficult situations. Naeem Stevenson is a guy who came in as a junior college transfer. He was a highly rated junior college transfer last season. Uh, I believe he was an All-American, actually, junior college All-American. And he had some monster games late in uh, the Big 12 season last year. Uh, but then he kind of would disappear. So I know he, he's been tabbed as one of the most improved guys in this offseason. Um, and he's a guy you really need, I, I, I believe, uh, to step up and be, and be consistent. What, what are your thoughts on Neem? Yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's your number two scoring threat. I expect yeah. him to be uh, your second leading scorer on this team. I, I look for him to get uh, – Kick that average up to around 14, 15 points a game. Uh, I think he's very capable of that. He's another guy who can make some, some difficult shots. 
Uh, and uh, just from what I've seen of him so far this year, which is not a whole lot, yeah. uh, but some, uh, he looks like a guy who's uh, maybe a bit more at peace with himself uh, than he was. And, and I think uh, he's, he's not going to have those dips this year. I expect him to be a more consistent player all throughout the season. Yeah, he's going to begin the season strong, and I expect him to finish the season strong. Uh, he should be a guy that you can rely on this year. All right, and then Justin Gray is a guy I love personally. Uh, interviewed him a lot through the recruiting process, um, and then he's been great since he's been here. Uh, he told me he's, I believe, he's only six hours away from graduating. Uh, you know, just just an all-around guy. But on the court, very hit or miss. When he's been aggressive, this team is really tough to beat, especially in that building right behind us. Uh, but then when he's not, you know, he is another guy who could kind of disappear. Uh, I brought it up to him, and he said, I brought just that very thing up to him here on Media Day, and he said, man, that is the key. You're right. I do consider myself an X Factor, and I have to be aggressive. Senior season, he's going all out, so he feels healthy. So I, he's a guy I think you definitely have to watch for, that, that you know, wing player. Uh, what are your thoughts on Justin Jerry? Yeah, uh, when he's bringing it, he, he's your energy guy. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's times when he's out there just going uh, – Let's uh, testicles to the wall, I guess you could say, <laughs> uh, for lack of, lack of a better term. And uh, he's a difference maker when he's doing that. You know, he's and he's he can be a very tough uh, kind of a player uh, and uh, a hostile player at times. Oh, yeah. Gets a lot of uh, loose balls and everything. And just you know, like you said, the X factor, sort of a glue guy. Uh, but to really be a glue guy, you have to do it on a more regular basis. And yeah. so yeah, uh, that's. Uh, you're, you're hitting it right on the head there as far as consistency and bringing it every night. Uh, if he does, then look out for Texas Tech. Running out the starting five, uh, the projected starting five is Tommy Hamilton inside. He's a guy who had, he's a transfer from DePaul. He had a sit out last year. He lost 50 pounds, Mighty Joe. Um, John Riley, the strength and conditioning coach, really uh, helped him out. But you got to tip the cap to a guy. That's a lot of self-motivation there to drop 50 pounds. He looks like a completely different guy, and I expect it to really help him out uh, on the court this season. What do you expect? A skilled guy, a guy who's who played some major minutes at DePaul, and another guy who consistency is what is the question, you know. But what are your thoughts, and what are you expecting from Tommy Hamilton? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, the, the, the losing all that weight is a really good sign from a sort of a One, mental standpoint yeah. or a motivational standpoint, uh, because I think that's been a little bit of a question to him when he was at yeah. DePaul is, you know, how, how interested is he in hey. playing the game of basketball? Yeah. Uh, well, if you drop 50 pounds, which I can't imagine, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, if I dropped 50 pounds, I'd be in major trouble, but me losing <laughs> 10 pounds would be difficult enough, let alone 50. So, yeah, that's, that's very impressive. Uh, he's an outside shooter, a guy who can stroke it. He's really got a nice stroke. I mean, when you see this guy play, everything he turns loose looks like it's going to the bottom of the net. Uh, so that's he's going to add that dimension. I mean, we had guys like this in the past at Texas Tech, yeah. and Andy Ellis, uh, who is a really good deep shooter, Daryl Dora, mm -hmm. uh, those big guys, 6'9", 6'10", 6'11", that could step out and hit the hit the uh, deep shot. Uh, so that's that's kind of what he's going to going to bring to the game. Uh, but I, I believe Tech's interior uh, situation it could be a two or a three man deal. Yeah. Uh, you got Norris Odiase and then the freshman Malik Ondigo. Uh, those guys, we'll see how they all kind of work together and how that rotation shakes out. Yeah, I, and. I don't know about you. I really like Norris, obviously, and everybody's rooting for him. Coming back from you know consecutive seasons of actually opposite foot injuries, major injuries, which cost him basically both those seasons. So everybody's rooting for him. That being said, I really like what Malik Ondigo brings as far as defensively. Sure, he's young, uh, but his height and athleticism is something I really don't think you have in anybody else on the roster. Um, you know, of course, Zach is a great rim protector, but he's not as tall as, as Ondigo is. So uh, I'm really interested to see if he develops into that first big off the bench. What, what do you think? Yeah, could be. Could be. It just depends on, I think, how, how quickly he develops. You know, a little bit raw, you know, a true freshman coming down out of Arizona. Uh, could be exactly what you say. Uh, I, I think as far as Odiase and his role, what he brings is kind of a ruggedness and an enforcer mentality out there that uh, I'm not sure anybody else at this point has yeah. on the team. He's the guy that uh, you don't want to mess with out there. And uh, that, yeah, that teams, 
need that kind of a guy. I mean, football sure. uh, is a kind of a rough, intimidating sport, but in basketball, that can help you out as well. And oh, that's yeah. something that he brings. Uh, so all three of those guys have got a little something different they can bring to the mix, and uh, it'll be Coach Beer's job to, to massage it all together. And Odiasi lost a lot of weight as well, uh, like significant weight. Uh, so hopefully they can help take a lot of pressure off, off both his feet. Uh, which he's had surgery on, on both of those. Uh, let's talk about some of these other guys, uh, reserve players. Brandon Francis, we already said wild card. He's another guy. Uh, to me, your season may go, and I don't want to be too dramatic, but it could go depending on, like, is this guy a legitimate scoring threat off the bench and a guy you could depend on, or a guy where we're just not going to see him a lot by Big 12 play? I think if he steps up, another guy who lost a lot of weight, he said he lost like 30 pounds, which is a lot for, you know, I was like, I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know you had that much to lose. But uh, <laughs> no, so that that kind of speaks to the want too as well. And he's looked good in the exhibitions, uh, according to multiple people. So uh, I really hope that he comes around. He was a highly touted guy out of high school, had one of the best high school mixtapes you'll ever see. I mean, it's unbelievable. Uh, you know, and then transferred out of Florida. Didn't work out through a coaching change there at Florida. So I'm really um, anxious to see how he develops and what role he has, how big of a role he has on this team. Yeah, he's um, so far he's developing the reputation as a shooter. Yeah. You know, which yeah. I mean, when when you look at his tapes and stuff like that, that that's not necessarily what jumps out at you. It's the kind of the athleticism and the slashing and you know getting to the rim and yeah. all that stuff. Uh, but so far his role right now has just been a guy who's been. Uh, a stand still still shooter can just knock it down out there really looks good uh in that role so uh we'll see about that and whether that bears up uh he's also got kind of a reputation of being kind of a a tough physical sort of a player as well uh which is a nice thing to have uh and a guard position so uh maybe he's going to help a little bit on the defensive end too we'll see all right two freshmen i want to talk to there's a bunch we can this whole roster we can break down but there's two freshmen we have to talk about uh one's a local local standout Jarrett culver of course, his older brother, All-American, uh, national champion, high jumper. Uh, Jared's been very impressive. I saw him at least once in high school. Uh, great offensive player, but really great all-around player. Um, and a legitimate 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 who can play one through three. Um, and told me he can. they want him to actually be able to guard one through four. So I, I don't know about that. Yeah, I know. Uh, but one through three, for sure. Um, and then Zaire Smith. Athletic marvel, a guy I think is going to immediately contribute, especially on defense and rebounding, and just with your overall athleticism, being able to get out on the break and and finish and dunk on people's heads. <laughs> what, what do you think, Joe? Yeah, I mean, right now with those two guys, it's kind of like Mr. Freshman offense and Mr. Freshman defense. Yeah. Uh, although, but they both can do both on either side. Sure, sure, sure. I'm just saying at this point, that's kind of maybe where their strengths yeah. lie. But I mean, Zaire led the team in scoring uh, against New Mexico State in that scrimmage. Yeah. So we may have to revise that a little bit. But uh, uh, yeah, from what I've seen of them, um, uh, Jared has is, is, is got the complete uh, scores mentality. He's, he's, he can score in a variety of ways. Uh, inside, outside, uh, hit the jumper, uh, penetrate, just do the whole nine yards. And as he uh, becomes more accustomed to what he's facing at this level, then uh, he's really, he's another guy that can be an option for you on offense. And, you know, a, a true freshman, you don't necessarily want to project him as being kind of a go-to guy, but yeah. you never know. You never know. I mean, that happens sometimes. Uh, so maybe that'll be the case with him. Zaire uh, is, to me, is just a monster on the defensive end almost pretty much right now. That's, yeah, I mean, yeah. because uh, when I first saw him out on the court, I could not believe the arm length of that guy. <laughs> I mean, seriously, this he, he's 6'5", but he's got the wingspan of a guy who's about 6'8", it looks like to me, easily. Uh, and that makes him really tough. And he's not just like a skinny little guy who's going to get pushed around out there. He, no, he's, no, no, he's no. got a little bit of muscle to him. Uh, and then, of course, with the, the hops and everything and uh, just, just – everything and he's, he plays hard uh, a smart player I'm really excited about uh, what he's gonna do and like you said uh, you're gonna see it right off the bat with him oh, it's, yeah. he, he's not gonna have to to develop or anything like that he will develop of course but right. he, he's good enough to play right now and play well absolutely I think Culver could probably add a little bit of weight though I think he'll be able to contribute uh, early but Zaire Smith physically uh, I've already seen him battle some of the, the veteran guys on the team for like rebounds and loose balls and kind of, you know, I think I told, I said before in an earlier report, throw some, some kind of, yeah, some chicken wings. I wouldn't say full on like a, like a dirty elbow or anything like that, but uh, just letting him know he was there, you know. Yeah, uh, two more guys. I, I, I lied. Two more guys. We get some Juco flavor here uh, with Josh Webster. 
I think he's going to play a lot too. I think he, I, he's, he's a guy who can play point guard for you. He's a steady hand there. He comes from South Plains. I saw him play there. He's very under control player. Another guy with freakishly long arms who can be a very effective on the ball defender. I really like what Josh Webster brings. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's, he's him and Zaire are kind of built alike, except uh, Webster's an inch shorter, yeah. basically. But they're built along the same lines. I mean, and uh, uh, six four guy, uh, and there's just a whole passel of guys on that team that you can throw out there on the edge, yeah. out there at the perimeter. They're in that six five, six six, six four range with long arms. Uh, that's uh, tough for people yeah. to, to deal with on the offensive end, facing those guys. Uh, so that's Webster fits into that mold. And he does look like the guy who can sort of combo uh, e either side of the court yeah. there. Uh, and uh, a solid all-around player, I'm guessing, right now. I haven't seen that much of him, but we're going to see plenty, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. And then some some European flavor, Italian flavor, huge get on the recruiting trail. David Mor uh, Moretti, excuse me, uh, Beard told us, hey, just like I just did, y'all are going to butcher <laughs> with your Texas ac Texan accent. Yeah. David Moretti. <laughs> so he said, we're calling him Moro. Okay, okay. so Moro. Uh, skilled guy, a guy known for uh, really tearing up the like under 18, uh, and then now recently uh, above actually uh, European scene. He's been a leader on the the junior Italian team. Um, very skilled guy, but he came in at 165 pounds, which is not ready for Big 12. Um, I do like him. I do like what we've seen so far. I've already heard that he's getting better already, and he uh, Beard actually said he's already put on 10 pounds. So that's gr all great signs. He's also supposed to be a really good locker room guy. So I think further on the season, while I think some guys maybe you see well, their minutes will go down, I think Morrow's a guy that as you go deeper in the season, especially since this team really does need the uh, outside shooter to stretch some of those zones and kind of loosen things up for the other guys, that I, I really expect uh, Morrow to get more minutes later in the season. Yeah, that's a safe ass assessment. Uh, you know, he, he I think he really moves well without the ball. That's kind of maybe the one thing that jumps out with, with me is he – uh, he's just, some guys just have the knack, you know, right. they, they can find the open spaces, they know how to weave their way in and out and suddenly bang, they're wide open. Yeah. Uh, he's the guy that's going to be able to, to get open for shots, I think. It's just a matter of making them. Uh, but he's definitely yeah. got that uh, uh, going for him there. Um, and I think kind of a, an agile sort of a guy, um, a little bit more athletic than you, than you might give him credit for being. I think he's actually going to be a kind of a sneaky defender as well. He's. Yeah, um, and that's been kind of a knock on him, actually. Was right. Some people thought that maybe uh, he didn't have the defensive chops, but uh, as what I've seen from him is he's, he's a guy who gets his hand on a lot of balls, he just reaches into the, the pile, and he's, right. he's got it, you know. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, might be just a little bit better on the defense end than he's been given credit for. All right, I like to hear that. Well, I don't know about you, Joe, but I can't wait for a tip-off. Season starts 8 p.m. right here behind us at the USA on Friday against South Alabama. So that's a good way to start. I think South Alabama, uh, watch out. I, I expect Tech to win pretty big here to open up with a nice, uh, you know, happy, happy moment Friday night. What do you think? Yeah, they, they have the potential to roll them, no doubt about it. <laughs> All right. Thank you, as always, Mighty Joe. Great stuff. Thank you all for watching, and until next time.